Hey, what's going on the YouTube? It's SDL 0320 representing JVS. Um, I really don't know how to review this episode because I don't fully understand. And maybe you guys can help me in the comment section. I don't fully understand what Thawne is doing, but I know what he's doing is genius next level genius stuff because in this episode the girl with red lightning you know the whole entire episode beginning like Nora seems like she was kind of like back and forth with her anger and animosity and she's directly connected to uh, Grace and they have a psychic emotional link um, Nora's able to overcome that get her family to trust her get her family to get behind her and rally behind her she was able to kind of overcome uh, Grace's anger to be able to see where she is. Your boy Joe stepped it up as the lead captain of the GCPD. Um, that was a really dope moment between Cecile and Joe. I actually really love them. They're, they're a great power couple. Even, I, they might, say, dare I say, like be better than Barry and Iris. Um, because, like, Cecile was right. Like, everybody comes with Joe. Like, Joe doesn't have to know everything about everything. He just knows what the right thing to say is from the right honest heart and that's that's one of the best assets about joe the thing that surprised me about this was your boy elongated man like legit figuring out like his detective skills really did step up um because your boy Sherlock luke was distracted because he was trying to get his his old girl straight um now for him you know what i'm saying like i love Sherlock. luke like i really hope you know they keep him on i heard that uh um, Tom Cavanaugh is done after the season, unfortunately. Um, but the thing about this this episode that I had a problem with was the fact that these people, these metahumans, are taking this cure out of fear of dying because they have been transformed into what they've become. It's kind of like you being born with something, or even if you've been transformed into something, and like now somebody's like, oh, I'm going to oppress and kill you, so you need to change who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, X-Men 101, like, that's not right. You know what I'm saying? Like, regardless of, like, I mean, I would have had a whole different conversation with people. Like, I didn't understand, you know, like, you're fearful, but we're going to try to do everything we can. But there's some of you guys that just don't want this. We encourage you to go and take the kid. But it's like, for sure, Luke, like, his decision to, you know, allow her to have her, I, I'm glad that she had her opinion. Like, like I don't want to change. But his solution to that was, like, going to a different earth. So it's like, you can't do that for everybody else. Like, you can't just run. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get this person is a psychopath. Like, she is nuts. Um, and by the way, shout out to a girl that used to be Alicia on uh, Smallville. She is a great cicada. I wish she was a cicada for the whole entire season because she is far better than Orlin. Um, but the thing is, like, it just, it didn't sit well with me. I was like, how are you going to express to people to go and take this cure and, like, not want to deal with self-preservation? Like, of course you're going to want to take it, even if they don't feel like they should you know what I'm saying like it's like they don't want to die but it's like you losing the party stuff I thought I had a problem with that side of stuff but the thing about this episode that really blows my mind is what elongated man was thinking and processing about uh, the reverse flash because the reverse flash he was like his time was up in the beginning of the episode and I was like what in the world is this man about to do and they every single time he kept on getting like shocked with reverse negative speed force and like elongated man the final thing he was like wait we didn't see the dagger it wasn't there where has the dagger been this entire time it wasn't with her so who has the dagger in the future and i think i'm finally starting to get it myself now he's had it this entire time so what does that really mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, so when they get, when they shot the gun, that means that he's had it up until this entire point. Now, she went to the past to go get the dagger, meaning that he needed her to go and do that. He needed um, Nora to go and cause this chain reaction of events to happen. And this is all about self-preservation. I've said it from jump, like, it was the same thing with Barry. Like, he needed Barry to become the Flash, even though he initially tried to kill him, because he lost his own speed force. He lost the ability of being able to travel. So he goes and traps all the energy in order for him to be able to have his speed again. Now, 
I don't know if all that energy that Nora just collected is now going to him. I have no idea. It's just, I, the thing is, I don't know what his real end game is, but I can see the pieces are all there. I'm just praying that they've had off in full because if I find out, <laughs> if I find out by the end of this that not only did he, did the writers and, and Tom Cavanaugh's character, the Red Flash, tie all this in together so well because if it's that he's the one that sent Nor, he's the one that sent the 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 foot suit that was gonna be the new 2.0 cicada and he's the one that changed the timeline from the point that the original like I remember when they nor and them they went to go and try to stop you know uh the dagger from you know being found and they went and they found like the reverse flash and he kind of knew what was going on I don't think he forgot that. I think that, that that is something that is kept in his head. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's a different alternate version of uh, the Reverse Flash. But either way, if he did all of this just for self-preservation, I would. I, I I would actually say this is a great season. Like I'm praying that that's where it all ends up. Um, but it's like once he's out, what is he really gonna do? Because I feel like. <clears throat> If he finds a way of being able to, one of the things that I think that that really does connect this for me is when when Nora was running and she was kind of connected to um, to Grace, she was faster than Barry. She was actually faster with her red lightning, which leads me to believe that if he's able to absorb that then he's going to be the fastest. So it's going to be really interesting to see if he's going to be like a reverse flash 2.0 or something different like that. I'm not really sure, but something something is going to be different for this whole entire thing. I can't wait to see the, the finale. I really, I really am excited. Uh, let me know your thoughts, your comments. Is there something I'm missing here? Um, I don't feel like all the pieces are there for me to understand exactly what's going to happen, but I do know that he has a dagger on him. And the fact that he sat there with this Bane chest guard this whole entire time, and we didn't know that he's the one that's got the dagger, like, what is he capable of doing with it? You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this review. Make sure you go and check out our reactions on uh, Patreon. I'll leave it in the description below. Keep it locked. JVS, we're going to stop. Peace, guys.